Good morning class. Today we're going to be making some coil pots and I'm going to show you just how to go about making your coil pot. Um, there's a lot of ways of course you can take this but I'm going to show you the most basic starting way and then from that point on you can make it your own. Uh, so the first thing to start out with is to make a coil. You need to make the base of your pot. So to make a coil I I'm using modeling clay today, but when you're and you're gonna be using modeling clay for the first day. The second day when we're using real clay, the more you play with it, the drier it gets, so you just wanna go for it. It's already a good um, texture, it's nice and squishy, it's a plastic stage. So you're going to roll it. I'm gonna try not to shake my iPad too much. Rolling it with your hands like this, two hands, I think works the best. Go. I'm trying to make it the thickness of my pinky, so that's still a little, a little bit too thick. You can make it the thickness of your pointer finger. Ooh, That's pretty good. So I've got a coil. It doesn't really matter how long it is. It could be really long. It could be half this length. This is a pretty good length. Um, and the first step is to wrap it up into a spiral. And this is going to be the bottom of your coil pot. So I've wrapped it into a spiral. Now, if I don't think that's a big enough bottom, I could take another coil, I've made this one already, and attach it. Just kind of squish it together at this point and keep on going until I think it's a good size. There, I think that's better. Um, now, the best way to attach a coil, you can see it's like this on both sides is to just smooth it together to make it sure it stays together and is really not going to leak any liquids out. So I just use my finger, I'm going to lift it up so I make sure it doesn't get stuck on my table, move it every once in a while to make sure it's not getting stuck. And I use my finger to smooth it together. If it doesn't have the perfect smooth texture, that's okay. Moving it again, there we go. Alrighty, so I've got a good base for my coil pot now. Another way a lot of people do this will be just taking clay and making a pancake, squishing it together between their hands, and that, you know, can work perfectly well. I like having my spiral on the bottom. When you look at the bottom of my coil pot, this is how it'll look like. I think that looks really cool. But if you really want to try to just make, start off by making a pancake out of clay, you can do that another way of making your base. And of course that's modeling clay, that's why it's got the yellow in there. Anyway, so I've got my base now. The next step is to attach my first coil. So I'm going to move my base over here so I can have enough room. I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to make my first coil. Pressing down nice and hard, trying to get even. If it's not perfectly even, that's totally okay. I don't make all mine perfectly even. You can tell this is a lot bigger and down here. If you notice that it's skinny down here, put the pressure on the bigger part. And don't roll that skinny part. Oh, now that part's skinnier and now this part's bigger. So check it every five seconds. Where else do I need to roll? If it's looking good, just move your hands back and forth, pressing a little bit lighter. Check up. Oh, good. Don't make really, really skinny coils like super skinny because that's going to cause lots of problems and it's going to take you forever because skinny coils will take just forever to build up. So I've got my first coil. All right. The first coil is the hardest because you actually have to scratch and attach it. I've got these um, open paper clips. The way you scratch and attach is by taking this end of the paper clip and going all the way around in one direction. <laughs> but you can't just go a single direction. You have to go two ways for it to be a good scratch. So this, absolutely not done. You can't just scratch it once around. So I've got to go around a second time to make it look crisscrossed. This is the absolute best way 
to make sure it's going to stay. If you don't scratch well, your whole coil pot could fall off the base. And that's just going to be a really sad thing. And you won't even know it's going to fall off until it dries. When it dries is when things like to go... <coughs> when they're wet, they'll hold together. But as soon as they'll dry, they'll be like, oh, we don't really care. There's nothing to... The glue isn't there. So what you've got to do is add the glue. This is the first step of adding the glue. The second step is water. So I got my paintbrush. I'm going to dip it in water. I'm going to get all of this wet. I'm not actually doing water today because this is modeling clay. But you'll dip it in the water, get it all the way around, putting it in all the little grooves. Probably going to dip my brush three or four times. Okay. I'm then going to take my coil and scratch, do the same exact thing. Go all the way across my first coil. This is the only coil you're going to have to do this with. Scratch it across. This direction first. And then, once you've done the whole coil, this is the easier way. You go this direction on it. And it gives it a nice, messy grid pattern. Alright, got my whole coil done. Sweet. Same thing. Add water over here. So I'm going to do one. Dip it back in the water. Two. Three. Four. And depending on the size of your brush, you might need more, you might need less water. Once you have the water, which is the glue and the scratching done, you can attach. It doesn't matter where you start. Just Press it down nice and firm. Don't squish it too hard because it's, it's gluing itself now. And you go it around. Now, oh, I got a little bit of extra. And that's perfectly all right. I'm just going to squish it and start my next row, layer. So see how I've started my second layer already? Um, and I'm going to do my second layer before I smooth the middle. Um, I already made my next coil, so I'm just going to start where this coil ended. Keep on going around. Now if you wanted to make a different shaped base, you could do that, and that's fine. Like if I wanted to make a heart for the base, you could do that. You just follow your same shape around. Now once you have two coils on here, two coils, about three layers. Um, see, I've got a hole there. I'm going to push it down. You are going to um, either smooth it on the inside, holding your hand like this, and smoothing down the walls. Um, if you need help with this the first time, please, please raise your hand. One of the biggest mistakes I see is people smoothing down too much and then destroying their wall. Um, absolutely raise your hand. I uh, can help out with the smoothing part on the inside. If you do the coil part, I can definitely help out with this smoothing on the inside. So see how I am just taking my finger, taking a little bit of clay and smoothing it down so you can't see the coils anymore. Just doing one finger, hold, supporting the back of it with my other hand, turning it around after every three or four, and then I'm just smoothing the inside. So this is what the inside looks like now. I could do a better job of smoothing it out. There we go. Next step, next coil, and you just keep on adding them. Now, remember we can add other kind of coil details. That we could use that same spiral pattern that we used on the bottom to make perhaps 